So, George, thanks for coming in today and sharing your story with myself and the viewers. Um, we appreciate you spending this time with us. I mean, there's quite a few questions that we could ask because um, we've not met before. Could you tell the story about how the cancer was picked up? What were the first signs? I had a lump on my cheek and I went to see local young GP. Uh, I don't attach any of blame to the fact that he said, oh, it's an ordinary cyst and nothing to worry about. It was an opinion. I went happily on my way. Uh, that was in an autumn, in the following January, on a routine checkup in dermatology through just little bits of skin cancer. Uh, it was spotted straight away that it was extremely serious. And at that point, I was rushed into uh, a 20-minute uh, a bit of surgery under a local anaesthetic, an awful lot of pushing and pulling, mm. which I sense actually thrilled the cancer, um, thrilled the cancer cells because uh, I had to undergo major surgery in the May of that year. Mm -hmm. How satisfied were you with the way it was picked up and diagnosed? As I say, it, it, I can understand that, that doctors don't want to keep on making referral after referral and get themselves a bad reputation. But in retrospect, it's far better to spend that time and that money on too many and unnecessary referrals than have to go through all the tremendous expense. I'm not thinking about this, the effect upon me, but the cost to the taxpayer, the enormous amount of effort for which I'm appreciative that's had to be put into keeping me alive. Yes. Uh, that I think, I'm sure, that could have been avoided by early intervention. So what you're saying, rather than for clinicians to be too worried about um, making a mistake, being overcautious, they should, if they're not sure at all, um, get the investigations or referral done so that there can be a clarity as soon as possible. Uh, yes, I, I completely agree. I think um, I attach a bit of blame to myself and my generation because I'm of a generation when the doctor it's almost on a par with God, and you don't question. <laughs> so uh, this is quite true. Uh, uh, this is a, a generation thing. Yeah. Um, and so on. So you tend to take an opinion as being fact. I know what you're saying. Uh, and now uh, what I've discovered with younger people, all credit to them, and especially if they're from America, mm. it's question, question, question. Mm. So I always say to people now, and I say it to people I meet, if ever you get a little low, on your cheek and your doctor says that's nothing to worry about please find yourself another doctor uh, get another opinion a second opinion can be useful at times yes